Everyone I know. 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 Welcome to Everyone I Know, the podcast where we argue about the mundane. We're here again in Troy, baby. In the Troy Dungeon, in the Troy Castle, in the Troy... It can't be the same. It's either the Troy Dungeon or the Troy Castle. Fucking There's pick one. There's a dungeon underneath the castle. Where do you think they keep the riffraff like us? In the Troylet. In the Troylet, baby. <laughs> in the Troylet. <laughs> Hell yeah. We're here again with my lovely producer, Brendan. Hello. And my brother, Chris. What's going on, guys? This episode of Everyone You Know... Everyone I Know. Everyone, everyone you I know. know. Everyone You Know. Now you know us. Now you know us. This is brought to you by Audible.com. If you want a free audiobook and a 60-day trial to Audible.com, you can go to audibletrial.com forward slash E-I-K. I'm still reading The Expanse. Still very good. Highly recommend it. Give us $15 if you sign up. Yep. <laughs> Do it. Do it. We've gotten two, we've gotten two successful sign-ups. So Which means we got to get a chicken wing dinner going, we boys. We gotta get Maybe we'll wings. record it because nothing's private. <laughs> <laughs> we'll live stream it. <laughs> but no boneless. No boneless wings. All right. Uh... You can also support the podcast directly if you, directly if you go to patreon.com forward slash everyone I know. In fact, we have little b- 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 bonuses coming out. We got little baby panga statues. Yeah, the l- little nice little boys. They're, uh, you know, different colors, different shape. Well, they're about the same shape. They're, yeah, I try to keep them consistent. They're Handmade all, by they're, me. They're all beautiful. So beautiful, so unique, embodied with the power and love that I've put into them. They will protect your house from evil. They will align your chakras, and they will extend your Wi-Fi network. Such a deal. Get yours today. <laughs> First 10 $1 people get one, and then $5 for the $5 rest, of, and up. rest of time. Yep, yep. Yeah. If you want to give us $15,000, I'll give you one. Yep. <laughs> you only get one, but then you can make us make them forever because you own us. <laughs> exactly. We are joined today by a good friend of ours, uh, somebody who uh, I used to know very well from a, a bar that is now gone. Unfortunately, gone but not forgotten. Sometimes. It's definitely not forgotten. Never. Every time I drive past it, I just <laughs> my heart hurts a little bit from the Parkview Pub. But we have Carl. Carl, tell us about yourself. Oh, about me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from Albany, I, I hate it. <laughs> I'll never move away though. Uh, I cook and I drink. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Those things seem to be uh, closely tied. Closely tied. Yes, <laughs> they yes, tend yes. to associate together. Um, yeah, so, uh, so Carl, thanks for being on, man. No problem. Um, uh, so we're going to do the Old Man Minute. I'm not going to read it, apparently, because my father likes Brendan more. So uh, Brendan's going to read Brendan's it. Brendan's your dad now. <laughs> He's my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Papa, tell so, us a story. Sometimes I feel that way. <laughs> um, for people that are new to the cast, our father emails in every week recapping last week's episode with his thoughts and views on it. Sometimes they're censored because... Sometimes you know why? Because you, know you know why? <laughs> you know he's a he's a product of his generation. But yeah, <laughs> Brendan's gonna read that for you. It's not Brendan's dad; it's our dad. <laughs> Brendan ha- is our dad. Sorry, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Happy holidays, EIK fellas. Brendan really has the voice for podcasts and did very well with the Greek. I can send Chris flying off the rails with a compound sentence. Yep. <laughs> yep. Right. Gung ho. <laughs> Topic one one one. Travel. I hate to travel because it separates me from my compound. I don't want to miss the opportunity of promoting myself to colonel and taking command of central New York when the shit hits the fan. (laughs) Besides, when I travel, I have to bunk with Vader, and she monitors my alcohol consumption. Topic two, old school video games. In my day, it was Space Invaders, Galactica, Asteroids, Lunar Lander, and Pac-Man. These were arcade games you play in bars. When the, 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 then you guys came along That's and we didn't keep easy, up with the it? video revolution. <laughs> when you were old enough, we had. When you were old enough, you had home video game systems. The game I remember best was House of the Dead. You used to let me play with you to disgrace me. <laughs> because I had the keen reflexes of a Galapagos tortoise. <laughs> actually, see, that's that's a misnomer because he actually beat House of the Dead too on the Dreamcast. Not an easy game. It's not an easy game. Honestly, yeah. 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 We, we had the light gun, so yeah. yeah. Well, well you, you're not playing that with the fucking controller. I was say, nobody's doing <laughs> yeah. that. No. Unless Topic. it's typing of the dead. <laughs> that's a game. That is a great game. <laughs> we have Topic three. We a very special visit from the Grinch during the early year of World War II. The Italian Royal Navy, Regia Mar- Marina carried out combat operations against the Allies in the Mediterranean Sea. They got the snot kicked out of them by the British Royal Navy, primarily because the Italian ships were constructed of fettuccine, (laughs) and their cannons fired stuffed eggplants, meatballs, and sausages. Engagements with the Royal Navy always ended with hundreds of Italian sailors swimming for shore. In one occasion, Italian sailors washed ashore at Whoville. Well, (laughs) they did so much fucking with who women that they changed the bloodline forever. Hence, Anthony Tony Grigenzo. (laughs) 
That was beautiful. Wow. That, yeah, I man. did not see that coming. Yeah, so you got to read them ahead of time. <laughs> Love, old man. He'll get you. <laughs> P.S. PETA says that phrases like bring home the bacon are injurious to pigs. In my perfect world, these people would be euthanized and fed to the swine. <laughs> Everybody yeah. should watch Snatch, by the way. Yeah. Great movie about <laughs> feeding people to pigs. It is a great movie. <laughs> I liked the better one. was called Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. <laughs> <laughs> did, you see, did you see the sequel, Rock and Rolla and Layer Cake? And <laughs> <laughs> anything that uh, 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 Matthew Vaughn or um, uh, Guy Ritchie has ever done? <laughs> yeah, they're all the same. They're good movies. Good movie. Yeah, watch yeah. them on a plane, baby. Yep. <laughs> Without further ado, we're moving on now to topic number one. All right, I'm topic one today, boys. Something new, something different. Oh, do you want to call out the fact that there's background noise? Yeah, we got a stove going because we got to keep uh, warm. Bob Cratchit has taken the last log from our fire, so we're now using a pellet stove, which is yeah. a little bit noisy. Yeah, so if, so if you're hearing stuff, that's what it is. It's not our, our fine production quality that, that Brendan takes care of every week. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I like how we always, whenever there's an issue, it's like, it's not Brendan, it's us. We <laughs> fucked up. We did it. It's us. I'm sorry. Even though it's my stove. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what I want to talk about today is something very, um, it's a bit of a moral question. And... Okay. That question being the morality of min-maxing services. And it sounds a little nebulous at first, but let me focus it for you. Okay. What it really comes down to, the crux of the issue is sharing your Netflix password. Okay. Is it okay to do? Yes. 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 Absolutely. Okay. Now, there are other areas of life that this bleeds into. Mm -hmm. And there are things Ooh. like... Do you have one in mind? Well, no, I, I, I can see what you're saying. Like, like, wh where's the line? Where's the line between how much free shit can you take? Yep. That's the real question. <laughs> so, okay, there are places. So, like, for obviously, Netflix password. We can yep. dig into that a little bit later. I think that we're all agreed that it's well, okay to share it. Yeah. It's okay to use someone else's Netflix password. Okay, so I. Think, but that's the easy part of the moral question. So I, th I think that th there's there's levels to this, mm -hmm. and it depends on your relationship with the person. If you're talking like uh, a family member, like a parent, mm -hmm. you have Kablanche for everything. Yes. Does does not does not matter what the service is. You get the password for it. It's yours. Mm -hmm. um, friends, though, you got to kind of take that a little bit easier because they might toe say, the line. "You got to toe the line." Say, "Okay, well, all right, so I'm going to use their Hulu, but not their HBO." <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Well, Hulu, you got to be careful with. There's only one screen allowed at a time unless you got the fancy Hulu. Um, it's the same with Netflix. Uh, Net yeah, that it's only one screen at a time unless you have the uh, like $14.99 a month one. Yeah. Bullshit. Do you, do you have this, the fancy Hulu? Because I've been watching tons of King of the Hell. You know, I like, don't, that's all and I've, I've been never watching. been kicked off by you, so I'm not really sure. I think you have the student one, actually. So I think I maybe, do have the student yeah, one. Yeah, so it's probably, it's probably multiple screens. Well, thanks, guys. Um, <laughs> here's the question. How far removed can you be from the person to have their Netflix password? Okay. In fact... An acquaintance. <laughs> <laughs> do you have to know their first and last name? That's a real question. I have, I have one, one little anecdote. Um, my first time, I traveled to the great city of New Orleans. Okay. I was on a layover, a layover <laughs> by myself. Um, I don't remember where it was, um, but I was, uh, I was sitting at the bar by myself, as you're wont to do at a, an airport bar, which is one of my favorite places to drink. Mm -hmm. And um, there was this guy there. I struck up a conversation with him, and I had, I had Netflix open, and he's like, yo, what are you watching? I was watching Arrested Development. It was right when Arrested Development had come out on the Netflix. The new season, yeah, yeah. No, no, this was like the previous seasons had been released onto Netflix. Oh. So the first three. And he's like, oh, I'll, I'll watch that with you. And we watched it for a minute. We were talking back and forth. And he's like, this is really good, but I don't have Netflix. Can I have your password? <laughs> so this <laughs> random ass guy, I gave him, I gave him our password. Um, that's why our parents had to change the password to the Netflix account. <laughs> okay. So now it's confession time. Yeah. So that's why they had to go change because he tried to change our plan so that he could get like movies or something like that. <laughs> See, now that's on you, though. <laughs> Yo, that's God completely me. my fault. <laughs> but th that goes back to the level I'm talking about. It was my parents account so i thought you know he'd be a nice guy and understand his limitations but i was able to give that away because you understand it was a stranger <laughs> yeah right like you you'd never met him before this moment we Correct. sat and drank for like three hours on a layover we were best buds your best buds but if him getting to watch the next episode of arrested development was pulling the cord on your life support he would have done it yeah no 100 percent. couldn't have given a fuck about you <laughs> he needed to see what happened to uh, tobias funke <laughs> <laughs> gotta know <laughs> What, has anyone here done any, like, scandalous stuff? Like, I know that 
Um, I don't know if you've been the victim of or you had uh, some some far removed someone's friends, mother in laws, brothers, uh, Hulu account I believe was in pl- employed by you. Sorry, my voice is exploding. <coughs> Did you ever have that happen, or is that a? Uh, I just no, I don't okay. think so. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to accuse you of that. <laughs> um, I've used your Hulu or HBO password well, yeah. for a long time. Yeah, I, I freely, I freely distribute my my Hulu, mm-hmm. my, my HBO rather, because everybody should have HBO. It's the best. See, I'm I'm the worst with this. Uh, I actually at one point had my brother's Hulu password and my roommate's Hulu password. <laughs> <laughs> Get two screens going at the yeah, same time. Not, like, yeah, one's on a smart TV, the other one's on my phone. You know, <laughs> like, uh, you gotta like, have a backup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have like different Netflix accounts on everything that I own, <laughs> and none of them are mine. You know, <laughs> well, th- that comes along with like having different devices. So I I use a, a, a Chromecast for all my stuff, so everything's on my phone. Shout out to Google. Sponsor us? No. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't take a Google sponsorship? I would take a Google sponsorship. Yeah, I would too. Of course. Yeah. I love you, Mr. Google. <laughs> Who runs Google? I don't know his name. The Nebula. AI. Yeah. <laughs> so he was he was in front of Congress today. Yeah, you know? explaining to Congress that iPhones weren't built by Google. <laughs> Oh, and God. also explaining that there isn't a guy sitting there deciding what your search results are. It's, it's so it's a silly world we live in. You're telling what's my Netflix password? <laughs> <laughs> Why won't my grandson return my call? Remember when Zuckerberg got up there and oh, they Jesus. they could, didn't understand that Twitter was a different site, completely different website. Yeah, there are a competitor actually. Everybody's just trying to show up the guy that said uh, the internet's a series of tubes at this point. Yeah. Now, how do you guys feel about algorithm tampering? So you've used someone else's Hulu or Netflix account. Feel, or possibly their Spotify account, and now their Discover mm. Weekly is getting fucked up. Okay, so so now, now now we're walking into like a territory where I I am I do not give out my password. Yes, nobody's touching my Spotify. Spotify is off limits. So yeah, I was gonna yeah. say Spotify. That's different because at least with Netflix, you know, you make different profiles yeah, yeah. and everything. Spotify, that's yeah, it's, no, it can't be shit. contained. No, it can't no, be contained. No. All of a sudden, you're yeah. getting the wiggles on your Discover Weekly, which has happened <laughs> to me because my girlfriend's a nanny. <laughs> Wait, you don't watch The Wiggles? I listen. I do. I yes, do now. I have to. Every week I get the newest fire tracks from The Wiggles. R.I.P. the guy that died. Somebody died? Yeah, one of the guys died. Mm. Rest in peace. Yeah. He wiggled too hard. Wigg- I was going to say. <laughs> wiggled wiggled himself, right out of his existence. He wiggled himself right into the ground. <laughs> All right. So now that we've established the digital age, let's take yep. a step back to the closest thing that I can think of a subscription service. That you uh, may have had earlier in the day, and that is a buffet. Wait, what? A buffet is a service that you Back pay for, up. right? A, buf- a buffet, a buffet, like a buffet. You go to like eat all food you can at. eat buffet, and like. all you can eat buffet of food. <laughs> that's not a. That's not. That's not a subscription service. You yeah. go in, you pay. <laughs> listen, what oh, I'm what trying time. to say, it has the same. It has the same air about it because you pay money for okay. it. Somebody's paying for it. Maybe your mom. I don't care. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, but okay. you use it as much as you want. Uh, fair enough. Well, no, in, 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 but leave, are though. there limits? Okay, so what type of buffet are we talking? Doesn't matter. Golden yeah, they're, Corral. They're, they're, you get, Chinese yeah. buffet. Golden I mean, I'm sure the way they work, though, is uh, you, you have to pay for each individual person, so it's not like it's you true. can share. Like, yeah. But well, sometimes, <laughs> here's, here's the I'm grift. I'm only getting a water. I'm only getting a water. I'm only getting a water. And some of the shrimp off your plate. Right. <laughs> That's the thing. Sometimes you got to... one sh- egg roll. Sometimes you got to shuttle an egg roll across the room real quick. <laughs> or if you go to like an all-you-can-eat uh, sushi place and one person orders normal food, the other person gets all the uh, all-you-can-eat sushi. And, and they, you share. Yeah, you yeah. share. But you got to be careful because if they catch you, <laughs> they, yeah, you're, you're cleaning gone. dishes. You're yeah. cleaning dishes <laughs> like, like in a 40s movie. <laughs> um, okay, so when you go to a buffet... Do you guys prioritize the food? Like, are you like spending any time on like? Did you just want to talk about buffets? Well, I want to talk about. Yeah, I want about to talk. Yeah, about, I love. Food. I want to talk about etiquette within services that are oh, technically there, technically unlimited. Well, see, there's no etiquette at a buffet. Yeah, no. it's, yeah. it's gone. Like all, all society is just like forfeit. <laughs> it, it, it is probably the closest to a zoo. That yeah. humans can be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Except the animals feed themselves yeah. whenever they want. <laughs> so uh, with that, I just got back from an all-inclusive uh, uh, vacation, all-inclusive resort. 
that's kind of the same thing. You actually, if you want to see animals in a zoo, that's it, that, that's probably the best. A cruise. Oh, mm-hmm. Black Friday, I was gonna say. But, oh, Black you know. <laughs> Friday too. But like, that's animals escaping the zoo. Yeah. Well, see, like like the uh, the the um uh, uh, the stuff the 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 thing that the animals want is is uh, is finite for Black Friday mm-hmm. on a cruise or a, a resort vacation, something like that, it's infinite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Essentially infinite, you know, <laughs> until the shrimp goes bad, you know? <laughs> well, yeah, you, then you still get the fucking shrimp. Yeah, you, shrimp. Yeah, you paid shrimp. for it. I mean, come on. <laughs> you paid for it to be here. Um, but I think, like, comparing a buffet to to an internet service is a little bit of a stretch because you're interacting with different people, though. At a buffet? At a buffet. Like, like you, you might take... You might take the last bit of mac and cheese from little Johnny and little Johnny oh, I is going to feel saying. real bad. You're not going to take the last like view of, I'm going to push that back on you though, because okay. on Spotify, people can see what you're listening to. Well, that's why I don't share my Spotify. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, but people, people can still see it. If they have the, the browser version of it, you yeah. can see everybody's Spotify unless you turn it off. Well, th- that that's fine, but I'm not stopping anybody from, from listening to the same thing I was listening to. There's a finite amount of Miley Cyrus songs <laughs> that you can listen to. <laughs> Only well, five yeah. people can listen to Wrecking Ball at the same time. <laughs> that awful fucking song. Yeah, it's a bad song, and it, the video is done by a rapist, right? Yeah. Okay, well, that was good. Um, one time, okay, so I have an anecdote. Um, uh, I was w- at, uh, wow, what's the sushi place? I was at a sushi place with Jason and Nick. And Jason had got the all you can eat buffet, or mm. all, all you can eat sushi, and he was getting his money's worth. He was eating a lot of sushi. But it was like one of the, I think it was one of those things where if you don't finish it, they charge you for like the plate. If yeah. you don't finish well, plate. whatever's left on your plate. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so he had reached his capacity. They had given him the hand roll and they're like, this is this is the one that's going to take him down. <laughs> and then he got another plate after that. That's in the back. Right. And so uh, I remember he like slid Nick like a couple pieces of a roll and like the sweat started pouring down my head. I couldn't <laughs> handle the stress anymore. I don't know if you guys know this. I actually looked up the um, Statue of Limitations. I used to I used to steal things when oh, I was yeah, younger. Oh, yeah, a whole fucking bunch. Yeah, stop stealing uh, <laughs> when I turned 18 because I wasn't about to go to jail for uh, gushers. Um, <laughs> I, I don't think they would actually send you to or, jail for gushers. Or a misfit's uh, wallet. Don't don't maybe, maybe detail that. the crimes, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> that one of our friends still might have. <laughs> Not true. Never happened. Um but like I think that that I like I really had a flash of it and I was like I'm I'm but I'm not stealing I'm just you You're know complicit I'm complicit in some type of crime I can't tell you exactly what it is high rice crime high rice, <laughs> high rice. <laughs> <laughs> okay how about like complimentary stuff at a hotel it's yours it's yours but. How much of it is yours? All, yeah, like like, <laughs> like the towels. How about? Yeah. That? <laughs> is there a limit? Yeah, there's a limit. Um, this is what I'm saying. There are limits. Like the pillows aren't chained down. I, they didn't say it couldn't take it. Well, we did have that Airbnb where I stole the tin foil because I really you did stole from an Airbnb. <laughs> I may or may not have needed tin foil. That's pretty Back petty. home. <laughs> Back home. Back home. <laughs> like, there's not a store between here yeah. and Vermont. <laughs> it's like, oh, there's such a shortage on tinfoil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, isn't that great of a place? And I, I was entitled to it. Okay, so here's the question about hotel theftery. Um, what if you see the maid's cart? That stuff's completely unlisted. See, I wouldn't even think about that. No. Oh, I've seen the well, maid's our, cart. Our, our, our mother does. Is that how I got that? Because I see the maid's yeah. cart and I'm like solid and snake. <laughs> like, the first <laughs> the <laughs> first thing she would do when we would we go like on vacation, we would be all crammed into the sardine like room, mm-hmm. and she'd go out fucking trolling for a for a maid's cart, and she'd bring back every single fucking towel on the cart, mm-hmm. just take it right off and bring them back. Mm-hmm. We didn't steal the towels. We didn't steal them. No, you just wanted them all. Yeah. We would put them up all over the room. <laughs> yeah. We'd fill the bathtub up, soak it all up, throw the towels up. Call for more. <laughs> and then when one's, one's distracted, we steal from the other one. <laughs> but, but seriously, like, I have done that. I don't know. It's a moral gray area. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like that's... Uh... I guess you could say it's a moral gray area, but uh, I don't know. You're really uh, wrecking that woman's day, you know? <laughs> it's true. I left the cart. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you took the cart. Yeah, true. Take the cart, leave everything on the ground. <laughs> well, when we went on a cruise last year, uh, Julie stole the uh, um, the robe 
And she thought she was oh. so slick. She's like, I got this robe. We got our final bill. By the way, you go, cruises suck. They check that. You yeah, can't they, steal the robe. Yeah. Oh, they totally check it. It's you, a honeypot on yeah. purpose. Yeah. Um, and we're going through it. Also, not only being charged tax for every drink that we got, oh, which yeah. is a nice reminder of how much we drank. And also, like, <laughs> like we, so bought, boring. We, no, we bought the fucking drink package. You're like, oh, yeah, no, you bought the drink package, but also, like, here's, like, you know, it's like, you know, 50 cents on every single fucking drink you bought. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's good. And so that was $4,000. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, really, how much was the robe? Oh, the robe was like 50 bucks. Oh, that's not too bad. That's not yeah. bad. I thought they were yeah, going to charge you like 200 not that, or something. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I was expecting. It's not that nice of a robe. <laughs> okay. So 50 bucks was grossly overpriced. It wasn't even <laughs> worth stealing then. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Listen, I'll tell you something. She just about, wanted to live a little bit. Yes. You know? Sometimes the stealing is not about the thing. It's about taking the yeah. thing. It's about the power you get. Yeah, yeah. It's about the thrill of it all. <laughs> what about dining hall shenanigans? Oh, Jesus Christ. I stole so much from the dining hall. It's like mm-hmm. fucking funny. The, we used to send the pledges in to, to steal from it. Um, with just like backpacks, like they they couldn't show up to. I was a frat douchebag. Um, but they couldn't show up to the uh, to like um, their their pledge nights without like backpacks full of toilet paper, bagels. Ooh, that's a good any... one. I never thought about that toilet paper. Yeah, dude. I I still when I when I go take a shit like in, in a public place and I You're see still one of those, checking the. Oh, when I see one of those like those big girls, I still know exactly how to pop that motherfucker open. I'm like, I could I could have toilet paper for like a month mm-hmm. and I have to pay for it right now. It's gone through my head multiple fucking times. <laughs> it all depends funny. on if you have a backpack. Yeah, exactly. I don't have a backpack most of the time. I mean, you if you were a woman, you could do like the fake pregnant routine. That would be I pretty mean, Does funny. anybody even try that anymore? Is that is that still a thing? <laughs> what, is it stealing the or fake? Pregnant, pregnant, no, the, uh, stealing, I know. Is, yeah, 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 the fake pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's not a thing, we should bring it back because like it's probably not being looked at that much. Absolutely. And I feel like gone. in this day and age, a man could pull it off. Mm-hmm. You know? It's true. <laughs> I feel like you could. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's that and then the three kids in the trench coat. It's the next three, level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three, three kids in a trench coat. Coat, it's always been a dream it's, of mine, you know. Well, Never got to do it. It's uh, <laughs> it's just comic gold. <laughs> it's the perfect ruse. It's the perfect shenanigans. <laughs> if you don't watch BoJack Horseman, there's a character, and it's it's uh, oh, what is he? He's like adult. It's like Jim Adult Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, yes, yes. <laughs> it's three kids in a fucking trench coat. <laughs> then he's like working at uh, the the. Oh, what is no, it? No, he, um, he dates he dates the uh, 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 Princess Carolyn. Yeah, yes, yes. Princess Carolyn. <laughs> but they go to an R-rated movie. He's like, I'll have one adult ticket, please. Because <laughs> I'm just a regular. <laughs> <laughs> and the kid behind the counter with another one, three kids in his <laughs> it's So fucking good. His arms are rake. <laughs> like one arm's a rake, the other's a golf club. <sighs> oh, it's, my, it's my favorite thing in the fucking world. It's the greatest thing. It's the greatest it, image that a man can conjure. Yeah. <laughs> it's the singularity of, of comedy. Underused, definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I think that, I think that bringing this topic all together, I think that we found that there are things that are free... And then there are things that are free. It's free in quotes. Just, just you know, it's like pornography. You don't, you can't say what it is, but you know it when you see it. <laughs> you can't say when you've taken too many free well, things. I was gonna say, are you gonna say pornography is not free because uh? No, that's free. It most definitely is. <laughs> but when, when have you taken too much? Never. There, there, there is no limit to that. You, you're paying with your morality. Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. True. <laughs> a in little s- bit of me goes with it. <laughs> a little bit of your soul. Oh, yeah. Every obviously. Time. <laughs> a little bit of me goes with it every time. Oh That's wow. Kind of the way that works. <laughs> mm-hmm. Masturbation we, joke. Yep. Yeah. And we learned something today, guys. <laughs> Telling you, we're getting less. We're getting more funny and also more educational. Mm-hmm. We're edutainment. Yeah. We're coming for your Vsauce. If you watch YouTube, <laughs> real obscure YouTube. Uh, <laughs> Nah, it's not obscure at all, but whatever. Forget it. Is Vsauce still around? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, I'm glad, actually. Yeah, I might uh, have, get back into it. Uh, Michael has uh, the guy that does it. Hi, Michael here? Yeah, He yeah. has his own like YouTube Red show. It's actually very good. It's called Minefield. It's like an old school like uh, discovery show before they started doing like dumb bullshit. Word. Yeah, I highly recommend it. I will check it out. Edutainment. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Without further ado, we're moving on now to topics. Number. 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 number, number. Ratio. <laughs> that is you, Carl. All right. Topics. <laughs> I got a weird one. Uh, what's the weirdest pizza you've ever eaten? Oh. Mm. Fair enough. <laughs> Weird pizza. Um. So, what's my? F- I, I got. I got one that's like my favorite weird pizza. 
and it's a it's a Utica like style pizza that um people from Long Island I have it on on record the uh, Julie's had it and she loved it somebody who we who, talking about Oyster Eats we're talking about Oyster Eats cheese on bottom cheese on bottom sauce Something on top fun. little parm bake it mm. that's interesting Ooh, maroon. <laughs> It's delicious. That's your favorite. What's your weirdest? Yeah, see, I was going to say that's that's weirdest. definitely different, but I wouldn't call that weird. I don't know. Anything, if you're putting something that's not supposed to be on a fucking pizza. like uh, What doesn't belong on a pizza to you? I've got one. Uh, barbecue anything. Barbecue, right. oh, really? That's, that's, that's so normal. <laughs> uh, let me give you one okay. that's nice and weird. Okay. I've had General Sow's pizza. That's yeah, there you go. Fucking so you, I've, I've had uh, turkey and gravy pizza. Ooh, <laughs> what? It was actually uh, phenomenal. God yes. allows that on this planet. <laughs> God does allow that Jesus. once a year, Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> was it directly after Thanksgiving? Well, it was uh, the week before Thanksgiving. There was this uh, pizza place over on Lark Street called JD's Pizza, and uh, they would do it every year: turkey really? and gravy. How was it? Was I worked at honestly, JD's. Oh, did you really? Did you really? Yeah, I worked at JD's Pizza. Was, was that your idea? <laughs> it was very good. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my idea. So describe to me the construction of this yeah, pizza, because well, alternate pizzas can be, they, they can be different. Um, so make it wasn't it wasn't like a red sauce. They used the gravy as yeah, the yeah, sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I figured, and, um, yeah. I couldn't tell you what kind of cheese, honestly. Probably cheddar, it's, it's, I would assume. Yeah, Pro- it, probably a cheddar. It, it might was, have been a white cheddar, I think it was, yeah. and, and turkey. And I, I think it might have had stuffing on it, maybe. Oh, but like, God. Yeah, oh, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah we, we also really like to do um, uh, ranch sauces. Ranch yeah. sauces are fucking yeah. gross. Ranch, ranch sauce is fucking gross. Instead ranch, of sauce. Ranch is so Oh, fucking I see gross. what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. You're saying like chicken, bacon, ranch, no red no, sauce. Yeah, just ranch yeah. as a sauce, yeah. I see it. I recognize it. Yeah, no, Half I, I hear a it. bottle of ranch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On one pizza, yeah. Oh. oh, Jesus Christ. All right, so yeah, those are weird pizzas. I don't fucking know. I went to Massachusetts one time. There was oysters on my pizza. I don't fucking oysters. know. Oh, there you go. There yeah, you go. There you no, go. no, no, there were oysters. <laughs> That's a weird Scallops. 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 Still, still, still weird. Yeah. Still weird. Yeah, very weird. If it yeah. comes from the sea, it's generally not on a pizza, yeah. except for anchovies. Yeah, anchovies are great. I love I anchovies. I love anchovies. Can I can I ask you guys uh, y- your opinion on Hawaiian pizza? Pineapple well, I was and ham. actually going to bring that up, too. Pineapple and ham. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not about it. I'm not about Andy? it. Andy? I'm sorry. I am about it. So am I. It's one of my favorite fucking pizzas because it's delicious. See, I just, I'm not a huge fan Gordon of pineapple. Gordon Ramsay can get fucked because he's, he, he's, he's a... He, he's I a, hope uh, he's listening. I hope he is, too. <laughs> Gordon, we're coming for you. He says, bullshit. <laughs> yeah, mob it. <laughs> This podcast is fucking raw. <laughs> no edits, nothing. <laughs> uh, um. No, he's like he's a, a crusader against Hawaiian pizza. See, motherfucker, you're not from. Mm, mm, See that, that? That's too much. Like yeah. honestly, I can have my opinion. I don't like yeah. it. You guys like it, but I, I won't tell anybody what, what to like and what not to like. But no, I'll tell people to insane. like. You should you should like Hawaiian pizza because ah. it's fucking delicious. <laughs> now, what is it that you just don't like the pineapple? Part? I just I'm not a huge fan of pineapple. Like mm-hmm. I like pineapple juice. I don't like pineapple. The, the I'm not a big fan of the it. canned pineapple. I love the canned pineapple. Well, that's because you hate yourself. <laughs> hey, you know, strange fact: uh, pineapples. Do you know what kind of fruit they are? A uh, legume. <laughs> no. <laughs> Very good. Honestly, <laughs> it's weird like that though. They're uh, they're actually a berry. Oh, uh, big ass sounds, berry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look it up, Wikipedia. That shit. <laughs> um, it's funny that Gordon Ramsay doesn't like uh, Hawaiian pizza because I I've always thought that pineapple and cheese. Have you ever had that pineapple and cheese on with crackers? Yeah. I always thought that was a British thing, just because Olivia's family does it, but it might not be. Well, yeah, yeah, they do. Uh, um, they do like just like citrus with cheese. Yeah, it doesn't have to be pineapple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like mandarin or oranges. All right, fucking <laughs> a nice little gruyere, Fig. you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Forget that you guys are both like cooking people, so <laughs> gonna go into it. Um, I think that weird pizzas is kind of a beautiful art because when you see weird pizza, yeah. you got to try it. Oh, yeah, you it's have intriguing. to. Yeah. You, know, you, you don't. No, you do. Well, no, they I are mean, Pokemon like, and you have to catch yeah. them. See, see my, it's my, human nature, curiosity, you know? My, my opinion on pizza is I like the plainer the better for me. Like a, a plain slice of pizza, so like just a cheese slice, that is 
a uh, a benchmark for the quality of the food at that establishment. Absolutely. Well, yeah, I, I'll agree with that. Is yeah. a margarita slice of pizza a type of plain pizza? Yes. I'd say yes. 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 yeah, yeah. It's Definitely. a delicious type yeah. of plain pizza. Well, we found out on an earlier episode that there is a, a pizza mafia. It's like, it's an Italian, it's like... The Federation for the uh, Protection of the Margarita Pizza or yeah. something like that. And they literally, it's like it's like in Germany how they like regulate what goes in beer. Like they yeah, regulate yeah. what a margarita pizza is. Sam was there at tomatoes, like some particular type of mozzarella. Mm-hmm. And like, it's like There's some olive basil. oil. And basil, basil too, yeah. yeah. Basil, yeah. And that's, it. Yeah, yeah. that's it. I've also heard some rumors. Mm-hmm. And in hushed tones when walking into rooms. <laughs> in hushed conversation tones. I was not meant to hear. <laughs> Two words. Pizza Man. Pizza Man. Who is Pizza Man? Who is Pizza Man? We are in the season of Pizza Christmas. We are in Pizza Christmas. Um, people that have not been listening to the podcast. For a year. <laughs> for a year. Uh, one, one of these days, I have, I have a thing written. <laughs> we want to do a mockumentary type style podcast with Pizza Man. Pizza Man that. is basically uh, the Jesus or Santa no, Claus. No, no, no. P- of- P- Pizza Man is, is, yeah, he's the Jesus. He's, he's more the prophet. Listen, oh, he pre pizza. he predates Christianity, so yeah, we yeah. shouldn't even be making that comparison. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. It's 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 it's, uh, it's verboten. It's verboten. Exactly. Verboten. Um, but he is basically the of the pizza Christmas. Pizza Christmas is basically the time in which you take a moment to appreciate the pizzas that have been there for you throughout the year. The ones that have gotten you through those hard nights when you come home, maybe a little intoxicated. And who who tucks you into bed? A nice cheese slice, maybe a weird slice. Who knows? Maybe you'll wake up with it right next to you, and you eat it cold. And you eat it cold because his skin is made of cheese. <laughs> yes, and his blood is sauce. His blood, his blood is sauce. His blood is sauce. His skin is cheese. Before we eat of his body, which is the crust. Exactly. <laughs> the pizza man. Can. I think I want to wonder if I can remember the lyrics. Who can make the dough rise? Sprinkle it with cheese. <laughs> Cover it with pesto and some toppings, if you please. The pizza man. Pizza oh, man. The, oh, the pizza man can. Pizza man can. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Happy pizza yeah. Christmas to Happy all you guys Christmas. out there. Um, yeah, so pizza, I, I... Weird pizza I love. I think that... Weird food in general is good. I love weird yeah, food. Weird I love. Food is good. There, I feel like life is too short to eat yep. the same thing all the time. You have to have famous, weird, uh, gross food famous, sometimes. Famous uh, uh, saying from the old man: uh, "Life's too short to eat bland food." That's true. Yeah. From the horse's mouth. Our dad is a horse. Yep. Of course. Of course. Uh, <laughs> that old Irish saying: "We hate bland food." <laughs> yeah, well, see, th- that's the thing, though, because he grew up in a, a very Irish like household. He had to eat bland food all the time, and then he started dating my mother. He's like, "Oh, food has flavor." <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Holy what is shit! This? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he'll mm-hmm. probably rebuke that on the, the next. Rebuke that. Yeah. Uh, what did I say? Rebuke. You said rebuke. Rebuke. <laughs> rebuke. Vermont. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, let's come up with the weirdest slice of pizza. Let's build a slice right now. Oh, I, like what? What? What are the? First, what's the criteria for this? First off, if we're gonna go weird, weird, we gotta change. It's not dough. It's not flour dough. Okay, it's gotta be something. It's fucking cardboard or something like that. How about a whole DiGiorno <laughs> pizza as the crust? <laughs> <laughs> so wait, are we going? Are we going weird? Like opulent? Like, hold weird, on, no, we, going, yeah. we can go in several different saying, directions. Like, I, I actually want this to be edible. Like yeah. one. So. Okay. Okay. We'll go. We'll start from the ground and we'll see. Where it goes. Okay, so instead of instead of regular flour dough, what could we use? Focaccia. 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 <laughs> we could do a flatbread. I had a non pizza that is. Eh, you eh. know what's great about a non pizza? A non pizza. And not non probably because non. non's yeah, fucking non. delicious. <laughs> what's great about a non pizza? You cannot put too many toppings on it. It will not soak through. Speaking of non, yes. Uh, we didn't shout out to uh, the country oh, that we're yes. charting out right now yes, yeah. to the co- the nation of India. Yes, because <laughs> apparently <laughs> we were uh, number seventy nine in one seventy nine. No, no, from from that other scammer. Oh, oh we, right. We were seven, we <laughs> Another were scammer just told us <laughs> we we're seventy nine. Uh, we tried at seventy nine for comedy podcasts in India. Um, we are extremely proud and extremely humble. Mm-hmm. It's oh, a yeah. land where uh, the the bread matches the violence. None. <laughs> Very good. I like that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. So we're gonna be rolling in the rupees. We we, we are we're, we're big in India. <laughs> Just put it out there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So then maybe we will start with the non crust. I like the non crust. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And then What's I, our sauce. Homage. Uh, let's see. Sauce. I don't know. What do you guys prefer? 
I mean, I, I I like the turkey gravy. I like the turkey gravy as a sauce. We're just going to go with it. Going to go with the turkey gravy. All right. Turkey like, gravy. Like, like gravy is one of my gravy. favorite things to make. Oh. Yeah, gravy is great. Can make. I do you one better? Hmm. Can we go from a turkey gravy to a sausage gravy? Oh, yeah. Holy I like that. I like shit. that idea. I like that idea. <laughs> okay, we got two now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we, got, we got a breakfast and a dessert. <laughs> Hells Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! So one of the bachelor parties I was at, one of the fucking million of them I was, I was at this these past couple of years, um, bunch of bunch of guys from uh, from Queens, New York, who can't cook for each other, and everybody's really hungry in the morning. I went out and I made, uh, I grabbed a bunch of food. But one of the things I made was sausage gravy, and it fucking killed. They just they they couldn't. Hey, what, you made this. Well, you're, you're a man. <laughs> How'd you make this? <laughs> it's so easy, though, man. Like yeah, people don't so even realize sausage easy. gravy is like all, one of the easiest things. To make. All you do is brown the gravy, add some milk and some flour. fucking butter and some flour. That's, that's, that's it. Fucking that's it. it. <laughs> Salt and pepper. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> well, if you use like it's hot Italian sauce, yeah, you, you don't need even need to, to season yeah. it. No, <laughs> throw it in the fucking pan. Make oh. some biscuits. Oh, oh yeah. hell yeah. yeah. I don't bake though. <laughs> I don't bake. I'm Swear too, I draw too, too, too mad for that. Yeah. I cook. Yeah. Yeah. I cook, but I don't bake. Um, I brown the meat. That's I brown it. the meat. The missus. The missus bakes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got some naan. We got some naan. We got some sausage, sausage gravy. gravy. And some naan and some turkey gravy. And some naan and some turkey gravy. Okay. <laughs> What's I think cool? that we got it. I mean, I feel like one of these does I have got, to have biscuits, but is that going to that's too a on, far on, on, the, on the bread? You know, okay. Well, see, bread I, on bread. I, I've bread. got, bread I've got bread an idea bread. for the uh, for the, the the turkey gravy. Okay, please. Um, you guys ever heard of a little thing called poutine? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. So why don't we throw some uh, cheese curds on top of yeah. that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some French fries on top of that as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah bake that little, uh, shaved meat. Don't forget about little, the meat. A little, little bacon or some yeah, Canadian little, bacon on yeah. it. Yeah. Little, 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 little some back bacon on top of that. Yeah. yeah. That, oh, I, think, yeah. I think you guys need to think of a weirder meat. A weirder meat than speck? Well, speck's essentially just sausage. Well, do you know the shaved, <clears throat> the smoked meat that they put on is weird meat? Tastes yeah. great, but you don't know what it is. Uh, no, this true. isn't a truly weird pizza if we're not, if we don't have a weird meat on it. <sighs> what about. Worst. What about one of those little birds that they drown in brandy? <laughs> oh, um, um, a quarter line or something like that. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. They drown the bird in brandy before so cooking it. Let's let's back it all the way back up. We take we take a a, a, a pheasant, we cut mm-hmm. it in half, and that's our bread. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> there we go. I'm voting. See, now we're on the right track. I'm all voting right. tripe for the meat. Oh, Tri- yeah. no, no. Tripe's all right if it's done Tripe well. Tripe is so chewy. If, yeah, I was going to say, if it's not it's, done right. Yeah, it's, I, I, I've, uh, had it, I've had it a few times in my life. It's always been by some like old Italian guy in Utica. Yeah. You go to a tripe party, women aren't allowed to go. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like in a closed down bar on a Sunday afternoon. I weirdly feel like it would go with poutine, though. Oh, yeah. I bet well, you, yeah, can get, you can get anything on poutine. poutine. I was going to say, poutine's cheese. I mean, come on. Yeah. Everything goes yeah. with cheese. I love oranges in my poutine. <laughs> Eh, don't knock it. Hey, mm. if you're making it, I'll try it. Yeah. All right. So are we trying to get gout by the end of this slice? <laughs> I, I think we already achieved that. Okay. No. We're going to have gout by the end of this slice. Isn't that the song by uh, <laughs> Justin Timberlake? Justin Timberlake. <laughs> going to have you naked by the end of this song. <laughs> going to give you gout yeah, by the end, end of this slice. slice. And then you rip Jan- Janet Jackson's boob piece off. And <laughs> underneath is just a bunch of pate. <laughs> so all I'm saying is we take a full pheasant. We cut it in half. We flatten it out. Yes. We bread it. We deep fry it. Oh we, throw, we throw turkey gravy on top of that. Some cheddar cheese. Just to, just to curse the pheasant. Just say, shut up. We <laughs> make gravy out of your cousin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cheddar cheese on top of that. Chicken wings on top of that. We call oh. it a foul pizza. Oh. Ooh. A pizza most foul. A pizza <laughs> most, foul. most foul. Yes. A pizza oh, yes, most yes. foul. And there we go. I, we I have think, a winner right I there. I think that's it. I guys. think we have a winner. That's an EIK original. <laughs> And we will be opening the restaurant soon. More <laughs> no, to come on that. It's the most foul. <laughs> you can make variations of it too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> D- different birds. Yeah. <laughs> Get a big turkey for for, uh, for Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. All you gotta do is flatten that bird out. <laughs> <laughs> Deep fry that bitch. <laughs> I just like the image of the four of us in a kitchen. I'm obviously working the front of house because yeah, yeah. I'm not good enough at cooking to be back there, and I can't <laughs> handle the abuse that you would give me, Chris. You can cut the onions is fine. Oh, thanks. And fry. Yeah, 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 yeah. And fry. Thank you. <laughs> and it's just you guys flatten the birds. <laughs> Why is this bird flat? I got a four top. You don't even have the bones out yet. <laughs> Are you giving up, Andy? <laughs> Are you giving up? <laughs> Shut it down. Do you even care? Oh, <sighs> Coming this summer. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, without further ado, we're moving on now to topics. 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 Number three. 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 I am topic three today, folks, and my topic is pheasant pizza. No. <laughs> <laughs> how did, <It's> you, <laughs> how how did can you know? Fucking, how can we fucking figure this out? No. Uh, my, my topic is actually, uh, it's pretty loose. We kind of got to roll with it, um, but it's uh, also food related. Um, there's a theme here tonight, it seems like. Uh, but what I want to talk about is Christmas dinner. Now, why I want to talk about Christmas dinner is very different than Thanksgiving dinner we just had, which we mm-hmm. just had. Um, because before this recording, yeah, we, we just had it <laughs> just just had. today, December uh, what, what 11th, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so in, in, in my opinion, I, I, I really, really, really very much enjoy Thanksgiving in general because it's, it's a, it's a, a low stress holiday, you don't have to buy gifts, it's secular, which is cool. Mm-hmm. Um, problem being though that it's sec- secular, it's it's based solely kind of on like. Just the Food. culture, okay. Yeah, so uh, okay, like, yeah. like like regional cultures. Like everybody's gonna get turkey. Mm-hmm. Everybody's gonna get gravy. Everybody's gonna do the sides or whatever the fuck. But Christmas, at least in our in our household, was uh, was very um, ethnic. I want to say, yeah. yeah. So it was it's where you get the the good. You get you get the good good food, the good yeah. good stuff, like the, the the raw the raw beef and stuff like that. So I kind of want to kind of maybe maybe investigate why that is, why we think, or or any or any weird foods that people have. During Christmas, okay, that you don't get to during the, like the normal normal time of the year. Well, I will be do the obligatory "my girlfriend is British" thing, <laughs> and say in England the way that they they have a they have a well defined Christmas dinner. Mm-hmm. In in the U.S., it's very loose. You can pretty much make whatever you want. Um, I think you, you don't think so. I guess you can't have pizza a lot of for people Christmas. do turkey though uh, for Christmas, which I why think you, is weird. Yeah, why do you eat turkey for Christmas? It's a month after Thanksgiving. Like, didn't mm-hmm. you have enough for the year already? Like, just can't get enough. Well, you <laughs> defrost the turkey enough. you got in your fucking freezer. Yeah. <laughs> Flatten it out. Deep fry out. It. Yeah, deep fry it. Make a pizza. <laughs> my, my saliva just started to come back after eating all that dried ass meat from, uh, <laughs> from November. I need more now. Yeah. I woke up from my trip to fan nap. <laughs> what are you? Mm. Your, your, your turkey should never be dry. You got you should brine it, wet brine it, and also make a nice like homemade gravy to put on top of it. Mm-hmm. Chris, we talked mm-hmm. about this. I know brining is out. It's no, it's still brining's in. out. My, my turkey <laughs> deep frying is in. But Chris, do you butter your steak? <sighs> Had a conversation with that uh, a conversation about that with my father uh, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's actually good though. You always got to butter the steak. Yeah, of course. Like, that's how you make a steak. It's the flavor. Yeah. <laughs> What is like the classic? Are we saying that there is no classic? Yeah, that, 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 that's Christmas kind, that's kind of my, okay. my, my my crux of it. But also too, there are some classic types of meals that you get at at, at Christmas. Yes. So uh, we uh, we grew up in Utica, New York, where it's very well in New Hartford, outside of Utica, very Italian. Mm-hmm. So you get the uh, well, Utica is definitely Italian, known yeah. for their greens. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, no, the greens are delicious, man. Um, but uh, there's the the uh, New Year, not New Year's. Christmas Eve Italian thing, which is the fucking like twenty five fishes or whatever nine the fuck fishes, it is. I believe nine, nine fishes. fishes. Have, have you heard of this, Carl? No, no, no. This oh, is this to me. is dope. <laughs> yeah, so it's on Christmas Eve. They get like like seventy five different fishes, mm-hmm. and that's what it's you not seventy five. It's nine. <laughs> there's like there's like ninety seven different fishes. <laughs> it's a number. We can agree. It's a number. There's a number of there's fishes. A number. It's somewhere between nine and ninety seven. <laughs> yeah. And, right. you, and you have to eat eat each one, and if you if you if you bitch out, then oh, you don't, like the whole fish, like well, no, you have to have at least like five bites of each one. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. And Easy if you enough. bitch don't. out, they turn you upside down, they stuff you full of trout. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I wish there was video. My face. <laughs> my face. <laughs> it's like okay. No, but you get like you get shrimp. Yeah, shrimp, you'll, it's shrimp haddock. Uh, like some 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 other white fish probably. You get salmon, some octopus. Some octopus. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm loving this. Not yeah, actually shit. a fish, but that's okay. It comes from the sea. I was gonna say, like, yeah, here. yeah. What do you define yeah. as a fish? Like, it's actually wet. never mind. I get a whale wouldn't be <laughs> a fish. <laughs> wet. It's a, something Lives that's wet. in, in the, water. Yeah, in it's the, water in the wet. Piscean family. <laughs> yeah. Not just in the water. <laughs> so is water a fish? <laughs> you gotta cook it in the water. <laughs> I think a fish is more closely related to me than it is to. To an octopus? To an octopus. Like an octopus. No, I don't think yeah. anything is closely related to an octopus. Snails are. <laughs> Calamari. <Yeah. laughs> Calamari. Octopi are too smart to eat, in my opinion. 
Really? I, I believe so. that, yeah. They're, fucking, they're smarter than, like, a toddler. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're yeah, smarter yeah. than most human adults. They can find their way out of, like, uh, puzzles very mm, easily. But yeah. toddlers are delicious. Oh, of course to- they are. are. So tender, so tender. <laughs> Don't let them crawl. It really ruins the meat. <laughs> <laughs> so do you guys have any, any other, like, weird, like, uh, not weird, but, like, some special dish that you get on Christmas, maybe? My family was never big on uh, making, like, a Christmas dinner. I mean, it was just... Yeah. A day for presents and regular mm-hmm. dinner, you know, because <laughs> my, my daddy would always cook and, you know, like after all the other holidays and bullshit, like yeah, he didn't want to done with yeah, it. He's yeah. done. I always thought that like, isn't like the classic like Norman Rockwell Christmas food like a goose? Yeah, a goose or, or a ham. A We're Christmas ham. Ham. <laughs> ham is Ham's. always what I think. We Like a ham or a roast beef? Roast, yeah, roast beef. beef. That's, that's we, we do roast beef a lot and sometimes we'll do oh, a, yeah. uh, we do a lamb, uh, lamb tenderloin. Lamb tenderloin. Where the fuck do you get a goose from? Like, there's the geese lake. everywhere. Oh, the Hudson the water. River. It's the it's Hudson it's River. I was about to say, there's about, geese yeah, everywhere. Fuck, <laughs> I saw geese this morning. Yeah, for real. Okay, you, have it, you, have it up, you go to your Italian friend's house on Christmas Eve, mm-hmm. and you get one of the fish, and it's a geese. Because <laughs> they come from the water. <laughs> it comes from the water. <laughs> yeah. A-geese. geese are fish. <laughs> like, I believe A-geese. it. Yeah. You need to get A-geese. yourself. A geese. Get yourself a geese. <laughs> like two a geese. <laughs> but, okay, so uh, serial killers aside, somebody who wants to murder a goose with their bare hands, my question is, how do you buy a goose at a grocery store? I mean, do they have them? You, you got to go to a specialty. You get specialty. Yeah, 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 I was going to say, it's place. like maybe in the 50s, every grocery store had a goose in <laughs> Christmas, but uh, they just had one walking like, around. I, just, I want the fattest goose in the window. And they always like kept them in the window for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> like, is it refrigerated? With you. Like, <laughs> to scare away the other geese. <laughs> yeah. Well, you I mean, know what's happening. Here. Obviously, you got to have the goose in the window so that when you t- send Tiny Tim over with yeah, the money so, that Bob yeah. Cratchit gives yeah. you, you can, what, you know. What's what's the saying? Uh, shit through a Christmas goose. Is that is that is that, is that, that just a, shit is through that, a goose? No Christmas. <laughs> shit through a goose. I think it's shit through a Christmas goose. <laughs> I think it's because they poop fast. I don't know where they that do. comes they from. They actually do. Yeah. When I work down at the barge, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah I was about to say, well, do you not? Th- that's, <laughs> that's the least odd thing that we saw down at the barge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so normal. You forget that they're even there. It's yeah. just like a hundred geese like trying oh. to fight you from going to work, you know? <laughs> we, should, we should try to rope in one of those like fucking two ton fish for my, uh, for my Italian friends. Like here you go, take five bites of this. Just, the thing, the thing was the size of a fucking Volkswagen. Yeah. What, what are you talking about? The fish down in the Hudson. Yeah, I like, don't know what type of like fish. Like a sunfish, like a baby. No, no, whale. no, 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 no. It looks like uh, a like a catfish kind of. Yeah, yeah, but like the biggest catfish you'll ever see in your entire it, life. Like, I, I'm not not joking. I know. Oh, the fish story. No, the thing was like, like no, this it, fucking big. All right, here's we called it the monster. For we'd, feed, we'd feed a French fry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why they were so big because we would constantly feed them. He had diabetes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah diabetes. Lost his foot. His left hand. <laughs> okay. For the uninitiated, Chris and Carl used to work on a boat restaurant that was on the Hudson. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. And just to, just to put that out there, there was a giant fish that I've been told existed. <laughs> Did you guys have a plank on the boat? There was a dock yeah, on there was the a back dock. of the I didn't go yeah. on the dock. No, well, no, on the front. I didn't go on the front dock. The back dock's where you smoke cigarettes. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the front dock for? I don't uh, know. Fist fights? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you got caught stealing a, a hamburger cups. or something. Yeah, yeah, they throw you off. <laughs> Sherry, Turn a plank with you. Like, <laughs> Sherry sends you to the plank. <laughs> you overcooked um, the fucking steak. I have a funny barge story. <laughs> I, I bet you do. <laughs> well, it's, it's not even that funny, honestly. Like we were all like out back smoking some weed, and like so Sherry wasn't there. We're like, yeah. oh yeah, that's whatever. Like, and then like somebody blew smoke out, and like out of nowhere, her mother comes down oh, the Jesus stairs, Christ. smoke all in her face. This woman is like in her seventies. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she's the sweetest woman ever. And she was like, oh, I think I just got a contact high. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is the greatest thing ever. The greatest thing ever. Uh, I remember the first day on the boat. Um, it was back when uh, when Matt was was doing. I don't, I don't think you worked there. I, you might have just gotten back into town that year. Yeah, I didn't work there that year. Yeah. No. And um, uh, I had, I had met him out of the bar, and he's like, "Oh, I need help in the kitchen." I'm like, "I know how to cook." Huh? He's like, "All right, come show up tomorrow." So like, I showed up at, like eight o'clock in the morning, like hungover as fuck, 
and I remember the boat went whoop and moved. Oh yeah. And I looked at him as like, oh no, it does that. I'm like, Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. <laughs> it's a boat. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing. The kitchen is down below. There's yeah. no windows, no nothing oh, to see outside. No. You're in a fucking galley. <laughs> and the thing is, like, like you're you're not used to that. Your body does not naturally respond well to that. And like yeah. when you can't see it coming, mm-hmm. like one time I'm, I'm just like cutting some vegetables yeah. and I just felt like I was gonna throw up. I was like, what is this? Well, What's oh, this Lord. feeling? <laughs> well, towards the end of the season though, it was it was crazy to see like the the evolution of everybody's like, oh, here it comes, and just everybody like in time, just, going just like, yep, wait, 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 yep, nobody uh, stops. Yep, we're good. <laughs> Pause for a second. All right, back to it. <laughs> That's nuts. Did yeah. you guys have a um like a jail on the ship? <laughs> jail, <laughs> like a a, brig, uh, a, a brig. Brig. yeah, the yeah, Roman it, it, it was the front uh the the, the front dock, the front dock. <laughs> You get tied yeah. to it like a ship's mast. <laughs> yeah, keel haul him. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> it's a silly I'd, fucking place to work. Uh, it really was. Now yeah, I'm thinking funny. about Christmas on the boat, guys. Why don't you guys break in there? <laughs> From what I heard, that place is like basically it's sinking. sinking. Yeah. <laughs> it's sinking. It's like, what, it's, we sh- what we should do. We should probably, like on Christmas, go there and just release it into the Hudson. Yeah, yeah, just send it back to the wild where it belongs. Free. It's yeah. free, it's now. free shoot now. Some, <laughs> shoot some arrows at it. Maybe it's like your watch is over. Yeah, get it. Yeah, yeah. nice Viking send yeah. off. Yeah. Guys, to have a Viking funeral, it has to be on a boat. So you're going to have to get a bigger get boat. The boat to put, put the boat on the boat. boat on. <laughs> <laughs> get a cruise ship. Oh, man. So yeah, Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got something that I like about Christmas dinner. Uh, you know what comes out around Christmas is cranberry uh, uh, ginger ale. Oh yeah, yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, good, it's, it's, yeah, all, yeah, it's all right. That I, was the response I was I looking for. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's real sweet. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think that like Christmas is a time that I'm gonna eat too many Italian cookies. Um, mm. I'm gonna eat. A lot of Lebanese food, like a sickening amount of Lebanese food. Because yeah, we don't get it anymore. I know. There's no good Lebanese food up we here. We could cook for, it. I could cook it. I cook it sometimes. I'll probably yeah. cook it Saturday for the, yeah. for the right, potty. What, what, what are you, you going to make? Probably potty. tabbouleh. <laughs> yeah, make some tabbouleh. I'll make tabbouleh. I'm, I'm going to take my, my famous mac and cheese. Mm-hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to freeze it. I'm going to dip it in batter and deep fry it. You hear that, Seth? We're coming for you. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be very good. What about your not-so-famous chili? You're, you're not an award-winning oh, chili. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> shit. Ooh, ooh, you're making me mad, Carl. A friend of ours, future guest, more than likely. Carl's roommate. Carl's roommate. Uh, Rich uh, started at, at, uh, at Pornhub, and we have a, um, <laughs> Porn. and we have a, a, a yearly uh, chili competition. So I thought I would cater a little bit to millennials. And I made a uh, green vegan chili with avocado and quinoa and all this stuff. And uh, it got eaten, but it lost to Rich's chili, which was just a bunch of fucking smoked meat in a bowl. I mean, like, to be fair, he it smoked all good. the meat himself. Yeah, like, he he, like yeah. no, no shade he on that. He took his time on no it. No shade on that. The, the, man, the man can cook. The man can cook. But not, like, uh, like, I hope he's listening. I want him to listen. Like, y- you can cook, but you can't cook that well. You yeah. still have to look at recipes. Ooh. Shut up. <laughs> he's got the biggest <laughs> ego ever since he brought that trophy home, that little rinky-dink oh, trophy. <laughs> like, so he's like, I have award-winning chili. That's all I fucking heard about. <laughs> he still talks about so, it. Yeah, I know he does. <laughs> Just bring it up once in a while. He'll come to my job where I'm cooking. He'll be like, at least I can cook. It's like, oh. <laughs> I love it. I love uh, it. Yeah, Chris, I think where you went wrong there was that you didn't live your, you weren't being yourself. I yeah, you weren't being you true tried, to yourself. You tried to be someone else. I did. And yeah. you couldn't do it. People saw right through it. They did. Yeah. It was gone, though. People were licking the fucking bowl. Yeah, I bet they were. They were. Yeah. Wasn't a scrap left. Mm. Oh, the wild vegans. <laughs> yeah, they, all the avocado was gone first. People, I think people just took the avocado. <laughs> so I, I put it on took the, the avocado, put it on... They put it on Rich's rich chili. chili. Yeah, rich chili. <laughs> it's like, you know, this could use a little bit of nutty flavor. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of good fat. A nice little uh, compliment to the to smoke. <laughs> the smoke really brings out the nut. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That fucking chili. Mm. I'm gonna be on my deathbed. So <laughs> yeah, R- Rich is gonna come up right over your face. Yeah. You're not gonna know he's there until he goes, "Hey, remember that chili?" <laughs> and then he, at least he had a wonderful life. At least he can't make chili. Yeah, and then he's gonna die on top. Of <laughs> Don't worry, his headstone is gonna say, "Well, he just made chili." <laughs> He'll be remembered though. 
Yeah. <laughs> that's a little sad. For that chili. <laughs> but who did she say? He'll, at least he'll be remembered. <laughs> for the nah, chili. I mean, you'll be remembered too, you know, for coming in second place, was it? I didn't know. Or, or was it fucking Ooh. mentioned? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here lies Chris. Chris. At least they finished his chili. <laughs> at least they finished his chili. It was edible. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. Mm. Oh, oh, shit. What do you say, boys? I say we wrap her on up. Say we do. Carl, thanks for coming on, man. Awesome talking to you tonight. Thank you for having me. Uh, do you have anything to plug? Anything you wanna wanna tell wanna tell the listening audience, the the country of India, even? Oh, the country of India. I just want to let you know, um, I really do love the naan. <laughs> <laughs> we will use this uh, for our pizza. Yep, send uh, send some over this way. Yeah, yes, <laughs> yeah. Sponsor us, naan. <laughs> no, India, India. 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 Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> India. Sponsor us. Did you think they could come up with fifteen thousand dollars a month? I think they, they could. can do it. Totally. It's a lot of rupees, but they can do, <laughs> they can do it. it. Yeah, they could do it easily. Um, yeah, no, folks, if you're still listening, thanks for listening. Uh, if you want to support us directly, you can support us on uh, Patreon. Dot com forward slash everyone I know. If you want a free audiobook, or oh, we really don't get paid for that, but that's cool. You can go to audibletrial.com forward slash EIK. Get um, yourself a little penga statue. Yeah, yeah, you know, sign up quick. Uh, we got like a, it's, I don't it's know. It's a penguin. It's not what it sounds like. Pangus is different from a penguin. I have to make this so very clear. Penguins are little creatures that are alive, they have feet. Pangus is a statue of a penguin. He's a plastic penguin. He's a real person. He mm -hmm. lives in my home. Mm -hmm. and these are miniature versions of him made out of Sculpey. They will give you superpowers. They will get your dick hard, and you'll be able to fix your marriage. All right, That's all I have to say. still sounds like a euphemism for your dong. It is a euphemism <laughs> for your dong. <laughs> That's, That's probably right. It's not. It's it's penguin dingus. He, he, he does what he wants all the time, and, and you can too. It's pronounced penguin. 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 <laughs> it's his cousin. Shouts to... Uh, Mr. Bernedict Cumberblatch. Why are you an American? <laughs> he did an okay <laughs> job with the Grinch voice. I will say that. It was his uh, his um, Doctor Strange. I am a surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> I am an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Such a bad American accent. <laughs> All right, folks. Thanks for listening, and uh, be nice to each other. Be 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 and sink the boat. I really hope the boat doesn't go down. No, no. <laughs>